Who is on social media? Who is using Facebook? Everyone. Have you ever put your relationship status complicated? My relationship with myself before I was here was so complicated. It was all about people. It was never about me. There was no me anywhere. You see, people's pleaser. A person who just wants to make everyone happy knowing that it's not worth it. You just keep doing it, keep doing it. And yes, your relationship eventually with yourself becomes complicated. And then now, I don't know where there are people around me or not, but I'm me now. I'm more me now. My younger self. Interesting question. Well, I'll just make her sit next to me and very nicely I'll tell her, don't invest yourself in the wrong people. Because when you invest yourself in the wrong people, they break you into pieces, they torn you apart in such a way that it takes years and years to get back together. And also I'll tell her that while you're busy making amazing plans in your life, my dear, prepare yourself for worse. Because life is so unpredictable. Just be prepared. Time is a beautiful teacher. It filters out the extras from your life, including people. Being in the wheelchair in 12 years, I've met three categories of people. Number one category is of the people who see you in the misery, in pain, and they back off. They're like, we are gone, we can't handle. I respect them for their honesty. Then there is another category of the people who are not there with you, but they just want to cling on with you all the time. They're so weak that they try to stay in your shadow. Liberate yourself from those people because they are toxic for you. Don't let them cling on to you because they're not there to help you. Liberate them, liberate yourself. And then there is third category. These beautiful people who are so selfless that when they see you in pain, they stand next to you. They've got your back. They don't share the limelight. They are just there for you. These are your people. Value them. So yes, there are three categories of people. Try to surround yourself with those who are real and you'll feel real. But jealousy, I pity them. I pity those who see their failure in your success. You know, these critics, they were once dreamers. They just wanted to achieve something that today you have. But they gave up and they started becoming jealous of you. Pray for them because they're in a lot of pain. We all tend to invest ourselves in relationships. And as I said, if you are doing something right with the wrong person, nothing good will turn out. And deep inside, we women are quite intuitive. We know that it's not going anywhere. It's okay to be on your own. You are stronger than you think. Don't worry about that. And wait for the right person. Let the right person come to you. There's no rush. Are you in a good relationship with yourself? Do you love your own company? If you're miserable alone, I'm sorry. Your partner will be miserable with you. So we need to understand that we need to love our own company. Only then people will love to enjoy our company too. And don't rush. Wait for the right person. Because if it's meant to be, it will be. It's a beautiful question. I want to be remembered as an empath. Somebody who just didn't say that I feel your pain. But I want people to see that when I say this, I mean it. And as far as my life story is concerned, I don't know how my story will end. Maybe it will never end. But yes, nowhere in my text, the world will ever read I gave up. Have you watched Tangled? 
Tangled, Rapunzel, her journey, how she comes out of confinement for the first time. She goes out and see the world awaits her. I used to hear the kids playing outside. I couldn't see. I used to hear thunderclap. I couldn't see the storms. I used to hear rain falling on the ground. I couldn't see it and I missed it. But when I sat in the wheelchair, I stepped out, went close to the nature, everything changed.